Sports Talk 1080, the team Orlando's Tuck and O'Neill. Mike Tuck, Jerry O'Neill, got the basketball out. Got a question, Mike. If you could live for one year <laughs> in the city of your choice in the world, what would it be? <laughs> no. Where did that one come from? The reason we got the basketball That's out. That's a good question. I gave Mike a question, and he's one like, year. oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's see. Now that the camera's on, whether he's come to an answer. You start a, a basketball franchise. You have two options. To start your franchise, you either t- take Splash Brothers, Steph Curry and Clay Thompson, or you get those two superstars from OK City, Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook. Uh, he's me a thing. Uh, no, we're not going to put Magic players on the board right now. Just those two guys. You get a pick... Either the Splash Brothers or OK City Superstars. Who do you take? I'll take, uh, as our Gabby told us <laughs> before we started Gabby's this behind thing. the camera. Yeah, I know, but she made the argument. I mean, who's got the championship? I'll take God. the Splash Brothers. Please. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. I knew. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for having Mike do that. They're about, oh, and by they the way, have the championship. And by the, and by the way, they're about to have two MVPs, too. Who's about to have two MVPs? Steph Curry? That combination, yeah, because Curry's I, I about believe, to win his second. Honestly, to God, I cannot believe that you'd take those two guys over Durant and Westbrook. I love Durant and Westbrook. Individually, they're great. I'm not sure that they complement each other in the way that we would like. Honestly, because if they did, they probably already would have won a championship. I mean, because individually, they're... I would put them both in the top five. Well, let's be honest. The Western and, – and look, I follow the NBA as well. I know that Golden State's the reigning champions. They earned it. I take nothing away from them. Did you hear that? Take nothing away from he them. Did, he just wanted there to crack, was, crack on Curry again. No, there were <laughs> rosters last year Curry that were hater. depleted by injuries in those uh, NBA playoffs. But take nothing away from them. And the team around them, hey, they scored the championship. Congrats. Uh, in the era of West, uh, Westbrook and Durant, obviously the West Coast has been loaded for bear. It's been very, Western Conference, very difficult to get out of there. Uh, and when they did, didn't they get to an NBA Finals? Uh, Miami, right? Miami beat them in five. And so, you know, they've, they've gotten to the top uh, rung. Obviously, beginning, when did uh, LeBron go to Cleveland? Last year? It became easier, right? In, uh, for the West to beat LeBron-led Cleveland team, which was depleted in the finals as well. <laughs> That's your argument? Yeah, I think it's a pretty solid <laughs> argument. I, I, I tell you all, what. All, all you did was basically what all the skeptics did all summer skeptics. long is pick on Golden State's championship as if they were the only team in the history of champions that ever had faced opponents that were depleted with injury. The question was, and I answered my way. The question <laughs> we're is, getting this signal. They got to wrap it up. Yeah, honestly. well, I got one for you too with one finger. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> the signal. All right, but I'll share it a little bit later. The ring is camera. the thing. I'll take the two guys with the rings. I'll take uh, Durant and Westbrook. We're talking O'Neal weekdays three to seven. Sports Talk ten eighty. The team Orlando.